Hello beautiful eyeshadow lovers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a tag video. I was tagged by one of my good friends, Anya Stamper, and I was so thrilled when she tagged me. You know, you never want to do a tag video because someone hasn't tagged you. You want to be tagged. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. The original creator of this tag was Angela by Beauty by Angela. I will link both Angela's and Anya's channel and video down below. I am so thrilled. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to do this as a get ready with me because I feel like a lot of people would just be bored listening to my answers and not have anything to watch. <laughs> I just wanted it to be double entertaining for you guys and plus I gotta get ready for today. Might as well do two in one. <laughs> I just used my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. Okay, so I'm going to do a summary look today and I cannot wait. Okay, so I'm just going to set my lids with my setting powder. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. The first question asks, your favorite summer drink? I know that I have said this before, but it is still the same. <laughs> I love lemonade, okay? I love strawberry lemonade. I love... Ooh, truck. Strawberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade. I love lemonade with tea. I just love lemonade. I think it's so delicious. Someone on my last video from Italy said that lemonade isn't too popular over there. And I was like, that's crazy. Because here I love it. My husband and I love it. I had it last night for dinner. Yes. I absolutely love lemonade. Uh, but I think I could have lemonade all year round and be happy. <laughs> so there's that. If I had to choose a different one other than lemonade, because you guys are sick of hearing me <laughs> say it, I would pick one of these Mio's. I love to mix things with my water to make it taste good. <laughs> I like water in general, but sometimes it just needs a little spice and flavor. Spice. <laughs> okay. Second question is, do you ever wear makeup to the lake slash pool slash beach? No. No. If I'm getting in the water, absolutely not. And I love to get in the water, so no. No, no. I think the only makeup that I would actually wear is see if I have acne like this. I would definitely wear a CC cream, like the IT Cosmetics that has SPF 50 in it. But even that is not sweat proof. So if I was going there, it would be all sweat. So no. And mascara. Mascara is, it would have to be waterproof, right? Because if I'm getting in the water, then I don't want my mascara going everywhere. So, and that's really hard to take off if you've ever had waterproof mascara. So no. <laughs> None for me. Okay. I don't know. Should I guess? Should I tell you guys the? I don't know. Should I tell you guys the products that I'm using? Should I like be pointing this out, or is this just to get ready with me, and you just don't care? I don't know. I don't know how I feel. But I am going to be using my BH Color Festival palette. I've been dipping into the shade Haze right here. Just putting that along the inner corner. Right there. Okay. So next question is flip flops or cute sandals? Flip flops. Because I have had so, 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 so many flip flops. I'm sorry, sandals break on me and they're not even cute anymore. At least flip-flops, you know that like middle piece in between your toes? You can at least fix that most of the time. But if you break your sandal, you're screwed. You're, you're just screwed. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. 
So flip flops it is. I absolutely love flip flops. I would use flip flops all year round if I could. And I do. <laughs> if it's really cold outside, I won't. You know, I don't want my toes to be chilled little. I call them little um, sausages. <laughs> There's that. I am dipping into the shade right above that called Sweet Sequins using the same brush. I use my color switch in between. Number four, lip gloss or lipstick? Lip gloss. <laughs> if I am sticking with the summer go-to trend, it is definitely lip gloss. I'm sorry if you can hear outside my apartments have been under construction and my neighbors across from us are moving out so which is sad because our dogs like to play together. So. Speaking of, you like to make an appearance? Say hi. Hi. You okay? Somebody ate our toilet paper this morning. I'm not gonna mention any names, but it sure wasn't mom or dad. I think my eye look is done. I just want it to be cool, but simple at the same time. So, next question. Oh, I'm sorry. Lip gloss or lipstick? Lip gloss, for sure, for sure. Okay, so let's see. Foundation or bare skin? Okay, so this goes back to if I'm going to the water, I would rather have bare skin and sunscreen. And if I'm staying up top, like not going into the water, CC cream. So foundation, I guess. I guess it just all depends on what I'm doing. Is that an answer? Depends. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and just finished my base makeup off of camera, and if you can tell, I'm wearing a different shirt. The pink shirt is wonderful, I love it, but the like style of it just makes me think of... It just makes me feel more formal than this look is going for. I just want this to look more summery than what that shirt was giving me. So, I quickly changed. <laughs> I'm just going to finish my eye look before I finish the rest of my face. The next question is hamburgers or hot dogs? Now I'm the kind of lady I I will eat whatever is there. Seriously. <laughs> I'm not so much a, a picky eater, I think I would say. But I would definitely choose hamburgers for sure. Hamburgers, hamburgers, hamburgers. Cute floppy hat or sunglasses? Sunglasses. For sure, sunglasses. I absolutely love sunglasses. Sunglasses are my jam. I don't even have hats. I don't own a hat. I used to, but I don't. I don't have one. I had a baseball cap maybe last year, but I got foundation on my shirt. Another one bites the dust. Yes. Anyway, I don't have any hats or a cute floppy hat. I, I feel like I look funny in hats, so I don't purchase any. But I love sunglasses. Sunglasses are amazing. I absolutely love them. Okay, next question is Watermelon or ice cream? Ice cream. I love watermelon, so I will take take it from you. Take one. Take take a slice for sure. But if I had the option, I would definitely choose ice cream. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Mmm. Ice cream, vanilla ice cream is one of my faves. Mint chocolate chip. Oh, girl. Mm. Now, I love watermelon. Like, if I'm out, like, having a picnic or something, or even if I'm just at home and I crave it, yeah, sure. 
but I'm thinking of like what I would rather have when I hear those two ice cream <laughs> okay next is so you had to choose between shorts and capris or skirts and dresses I'm a capris girl I'm not even a shorts girl you know what I'm saying I don't like shorts I don't feel comfortable in them I don't like to I am a thick legged lady okay I have thick thighs for days and I don't like to show that off <laughs> you can see them in my pants <laughs> but I'm not gonna mm -mm. Mm -mm. and I'm not saying that thick legged ladies look bad in shorts but I feel uncomfortable as ever in shorts so narrowing it all down I would rather have a caprice <laughs> or just straight pants <laughs> either way okay next it is bikini or one-piece bathing suit one piece for sure you know what though can I have a two-piece that looks like a one-piece I'm definitely not wearing a bikini when I think of bikini I think of those like really just it's as thin as a bra strap kind of thing like all around you heck no 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 so if I could alter the answer and say <laughs> a two-piece that looks like a one-piece that's what I would take I like my dad lives in Florida <clears throat> so I know a little bit about the beach and I can tell you using the bathroom with a one-piece on it's ridiculous it's ridiculous because it's all if you've been in the water, it's all wet and trying to get it down your body and then get it back up your body after you're done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, bless you. I would rather have a two-piece that looks like a one-piece. For sure. For sure. Okay. Make it myself look more bronzed than I really am. Okay. Next is signature fragrance for summer. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I landed on this one. <laughs> if this came in a perfume, I would wear it all year round. It smells so heavenly and delicious. I know that Physician's Formula does make a perfume, but I'm not sure if it does smell like this or not. If you guys know of this answer, please tell me down below. Does their perfume smell like their butter bronzer? I need to know because if it does I'm going out to buy it I am going to go buy it okay but if I had to pick a summer go-to fragrance I think I would smell like lemons <laughs> I absolutely love the smell of lemons oh the smell of lemons the smell of watermelon oh, yes both of those mm -hmm. I don't even though I chose ice cream over watermelon, I would still rather smell like watermelon over ice cream. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Number 12 was favorite summer lip color. I put it on for you right now. Even though I have lip gloss already on. Where is it? I thought I had it in my where is my face? Hold on. It would be something around this color. It's a very nudie lip gloss. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade in the shade. Yeah, it says Lemonade. I'm sure it's from the Lemonade Collection. It is called Peach Tea. It's just this soft pink. You know, I feel like summer should be more natural looking. You know what I'm saying? Rather than date night or you're going for a night out on the town kind of thing. Absolutely. And this smells like cake. I just said I would rather not have this, but <laughs> it does smell delicious. 
I just like a more nudie, pinky kind of thing. And I love, ooh, I love the peach colored lippy for summer. Oh, so peach and soft pink would be my two. And I'm smelling the lips, sorry. <laughs> the next question is camping or glamping? I had no idea what gla glamping was. I had to Google it, okay? Glamping is you have a bigger tent kind of thing and you just basically put your own bed in it kind of thing. It, uh, that's what it's that's what Google showed me. I have never been glamping before, even though it sounds amazing. It's like you're home away from home, which, you know, who doesn't want that? But I've never done it. Mm -mm. No. So, I, I can't say which one I would rather do because I feel like glamping would be more of a hassle to set up, and I'm very lazy. I don't want to set all that up. Especially when it comes to camping. I feel like camping, just you need to be having a pitched up tent and some sleeping bags and call it a day, call it a day and enjoy nature. So camping it is for me, you know? Camping's fun. Camping is awesome. There's that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love this. It's all together. It's beautiful. Okay. Next question. Uh, brown or burnt marshmallows? Brown. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm still like a little kid in my head, but it would make me so incredibly mad when I burnt a marshmallow. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's okay, but I would rather have brown. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't mind both, but yeah. Brown it is. Next is a favorite summer go-to hairstyle. My favorite summer go-to go hairstyle all year round is just a ponytail or just something you, that you can put up in one of those clips. I absolutely love that. Something simple, easy, and ready to go. I want it off my neck. I want it off my back. I don't want to be sweaty at all. I don't like my hair being in my lip gloss or my eyes or anywhere else. So yes, I'd rather just have it up in a ponytail, up in a clip. I love messy buns for sure. I love the buns that you put on the top of your head that's just super messy. I don't do that very often, but you know, I'm going to now that I mentioned it. The, I actually did a hairstyle just a few weeks ago when I did my video with Kitty J for our lust list. I will link that above for you. But I had like a pigtail ponytail, like two in the back, just back here, and it was just beautiful and awesome. I loved it. Yes. Okay, so I'm just using this blue mascara from L'Oreal. I got this from Debbie, who I absolutely adore you, Debbie, and I absolutely love that you gave me this because I've been using the absolute crap out of it. I love it. I wish mascaras lasted longer so I wouldn't get pink eye, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I feel like the next one that I'm going to order is from Colourpop. Yes. Okay, so next is one beauty product that you cannot live without in summer. Where's my chapstick? <laughs> I could literally just go out and put... I could literally wake up in the morning, put these two on, and be done. That's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> mm. 
my dream summer vacation. Now, I mentioned previously that my father does live in Florida. I have been there during the summer. And that is not some place I want to go. I don't want to go anywhere tropical during Florida. Oh, during Florida. During winter time. Okay. I do not want to go anywhere tropical during summer. I would rather go when it is winter. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, for me, during the summer, I live in Texas and it gets supremely hot here. Okay, not as bad as some places. I do understand that. And I'm sorry for those of you going through that heat. I want to be in Alaska <laughs> or somewhere up north for a summer vacation. I don't want to feel this heat. I don't, I don't want it at all. <laughs> Pennsylvania, take me, take me somewhere I haven't been. I think my dream, 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 dream vacation would be to go to, let's see, where do I want to go? I want to go to Ireland. I want to go to Italy. I want to go just overseas and just see all the beautiful just see all our beautiful world and what it has to offer so there's that my favorite childhood memory for summer fireworks i love fireworks my dogs are so scared of fireworks <laughs> so i we most like we mostly just stay with them and my dog momo i'll show you a picture up for you she is terrified of anything that is loud. She, she's afraid of the microwave going off sometimes, okay? Because she knows the timer most likely means the oven. And if we open the oven, sometimes the... <sighs> My dog just has PTSD. <laughs> what can I say? Okay. So, next is... Oh, it's, it's the very last question. It asks, does your skin tan or burn? I am very fortunate and I tan. <laughs> now, my husband, on the other hand, just gains more freckles. He gets burnt and gets more freckles. That's it. He does not tan. Or he looks tan, but... It's really just freckles. <laughs> now, I know somebody that goes from straight pale to red to pale again. I'm sorry. I, I do sunburn for sure, and I get red, but I also tan. I, I think that's because of my heritage. I, I do have Indian, you know, Native American in me, so that could be why. But that is it for me. Ooh, I get to tag people now. Now, if you've made it to this portion of the video, I tag you. I don't care who you are, I tag you. You better tell me that you're doing this. You better, I want to know. I wanna see your answers. I wanna see if we're similar. I love watching people's tag videos to see if we are similar. And I, I love to see our differences. I love to see how similar we are. I absolutely love it. I don't know if that's how you feel, but if it is, let me know down below. <laughs> I hope to see you all in my next video. It's going to be a good one. I can promise you this. It's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a collab with somebody that I've never, ever, 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 ever collabed with before, but I've always wanted to. And I hope you are too. I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!